Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to whatever fucking day this comes out on Thanksgiving week. Oh boy. Oh man, some stuff. Stuff's been happening, like, all week, and it has been a pain in the ass to get videos done, and I finally have a moment to sit down and actually do some. So, here we go. So, welcome back to Beastars. In our last episode, uh, Lugosi went and found the, the Dark Market, or Black Market, whichever the actual translation is, and found out that the reason why the carnivores haven't, ri haven't risen up, because they live in a society, is because... Doesn't fucking matter what the herbivores say. They can go get a fucking steak whenever they goddamn please. Um, and also there is a doctor there that if he senses anyone who's about ready to ruin everything by actually butchering and eating someone, uh, he kicks their ass. And now Lugosi has to go home with some rabbit porn and see if he actually likes Haru or if he just wants her thighs in more than the, in more than the way we think. Yeah, no, I, I've been I've been waiting all week to use that one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so let's see, let's see if he's going to which one he's going to go for, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. I uh, they're probably not gonna like. I I know it's Netflix, so the rules are less. But like, I guarantee you, they're not gonna be like, oh yeah, no, just. They're talking about how fish speak, really. Okay, why are we following this cunt? Don't call my boy Dense. He's a good boy. Don't call my boy Dense. What's the secret? Is the secret that he will fucking split you open and eat you? My man, they're eating fucking tofu sandwiches. Oh no, egg sandwiches, never mind. Imagine she turns around and be like, I laid them myself. They came out of my fucking egg pussy. Oh no. Um. <laughs> okay. All right then. Okay. She's very proud. It it meant like this is this is the equivalent of like a fucking. T like, fucking high schooler being like, Oh yeah, no, I sell my aborted fetus fetuses. It's fine. It's literally all she's good for. What's wrong with that other one's eyes? It'd be fucking hilarious if she just turned out dead. Like, she just turned up dead. <laughs> just, I don't know. No eggs? Oh no! Oh. Congrats, Legom! You've made your eggs taste like shit! Menopause has struck you early.
She she made her eggs too fucking too fucking chewy. Oh dip. Oh, so it's huh. So it wasn't her her eggs that were the problem. It was the other bitch's eggs. What a bitch. She's not gonna change her... Yeah, until she- until he starts eating her babies again. The fuck? Wait, how, wait a sec. The fuck? That was the longest stinger I've ever fucking seen. Here I thought there just wasn't going to be an opening. All right then. So is this just is this just going to be a filler episode, or is or was was that the only thing that they really want to do that that egg skit there? Because I mean, hey, I appreciate the world building. I appreciate the world. Building. I kind of assumed that the eggs were going to be from. Fucking chickens selling their aborted fetuses, but there you go. It is kind of fucked up, though. Like, like if they weren't animals, I'd be like, oh yeah, no. Who wants a fetus sandwich? Uh. I I really I really want to know like if Legosi's actually good. Like, are we gonna like cut, get like next episode's gonna come out and Legosi's just gonna be like sitting there like with the fucking rabbit porn, just flicking through, trying to decide whether it gives him the boner or not. I don't know. That'd be funny just because of how absurd it is. Legosi's just like, okay, let's see, E621, uh, Lapine, minus male, rating explicit. <laughs> I really like, this is actually a really cool visual. And now it's turned into that, huh? Jesus Christ, Lewis. Just grabbing his fucking antlers for goddamn handlebars. He's sad even when he fucks. Jesus Christ. First year? Jesus Christ, Lewis. How are you gonna hide it, Chief? So that's why he wants to fuck her, because he has no idea who she- because she has no idea who he is, huh? Damn, son! Okay, alright! I was concerned there the condition was like, give me, let me get that dick though. Let me get that servine dick. 
Okay, is Bambi a real movie? Is Bambi a real movie in this universe? Damn, Lewis. <laughs> like, does Haru just, like, give off a fuck that pher pheromone? Like, holy shit. Like, does everybody that meets her except Lugosi just want that fucking rampant pussy? God damn. So, like... I feel like this is gonna, like, eventually this is gonna turn into a fight between Lewis and Lugosi, and it's gonna be really neat. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Fucking Lugosi was cucked before he even began. Oh! That's the saddest head pad I've ever fucking seen, Chief. God damn. Oh, God. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Fight! 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 Oh, please, please let the fight happen. Oh, Jesus. Is fucking just. I'm waiting for the fight! Please, please let them fight! That's what you get, girl, for leading them on! Oh, shit! Oh, shit. I mean, Lewis, hey, you just said that you already hooked up with a dear fiance. Why do you care, Chief? You fucking, you fucking gave up your claim. Oh, boy. Lewis, why do you smell like rabbit poos? I go wait for it's like, why do you smell like the sex? Damn, son. I feel like Lugosi would be better off with that girl he saved last episode. Yeah. I mean... I mean, hey, he'd probably- you know what, that'd probably be a much be much better relationship for him, you know? Cause since they but one share a species, and two, she's not fucking- She's not fucking everything that moves. But go see such a big tall boy. Nah, but did the rabbit porn work though? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta trim those fuck- Yeah, there she be! <laughs> I 
Her ears are so floppy, she's so cute. Fuck the wolf girl, Lugosi. You'll be goddamn happier. Something, something, racism. Stick with your own species, fucker. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, seriously, like, as much as I like Haru and I like Lugosi, and they are cute together, like, we all know that's gonna just end in sadness. This is going to be one of those things where it's like, the, the guy gets presented with a love interest that would be a lot safer and a lot better off for him. But he's like, nah, chief. Fucking look at that, she, she's in. And your, bo and your boy knows how to dance, god damn. You best fucking pursue that one girl, shit! Before it's too late! <laughs> and he's just like, and he's just like, yeah, no, it's just you, Chief. <laughs> Oh my god, you fucking nerd. God fucking damn it, Lugosi, you goddamn retard. Oh man, Child Lugosi's so small. Look, he's so small. He's so tiny. He found the porn. Is he gonna talk to him about the porn mag? They're gonna have to have a talk. Come on, bring it up. Like, just be like, yo, bro, why you got the rabbit porn mag? This would be the hardest thing for him to fucking explain ever. Holy shit. Oh my god. And he's and he's dead ass just like explaining it. Oh he's not even trying to cover for it. Lugosi's such a good boy, he's not even trying to cover for himself. Just like, nah, this is what it is, chief. Oh no, Thanos! Lagosi, bury those feelings, just fuck Juno! Ask her on a date!
Oh no. Poor boy. Like that, like that's the tr oh god, that CG water looks awful. Like that'd be like the fucking. Oh, pull! Oh, she's pulling his tail. All right, there she be. Just a friend, though. Just a friend. So is she gonna pursue this or nah? So is she gonna pursue him, or is this gonna be... God, this is gonna be what it is. It's gonna turn into one of those storylines where it's like, Hey, here's a love interest who's interested in you, and if you could change your mind to be interested in her, your story would end way easier and probably way happier. But instead, Chief, you're gonna go for the hard shit. He's here to hang out with Haru and make sure Lugosi doesn't just bend her over and give her the knot. God, she is so small! Holy shit! Absolutely fucking tiny. Murder time, fun time! Oh, he's just self-destructing. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's gonna end with fucking Lewis dead, isn't it? Lewis is gonna turn up dead. Like, I'm, I'm waiting for that to happen. He's gonna turn up dead and everyone's- and people are gonna think it was Lugosi because of this. And I- and you know, if they were to do it well, it'd be like, you know, even we know if Lugosi did it or not. You know? Like, that'd be- that'd be fun. Oh, jeez. Alright. Fucking, there's the anti-spirals, just... I do really like this I, I like this ending more than I like the, uh, opening. You know? One, because it's consistent. Like, Okay, I know this might sound like hip hypocritical because I like JoJo, and I like the JoJo openings, especially the, the ones that were CG. Um, because Sonoshino Sadame is the fucking best shit ever. But I think I prefer it when shows have openings and endings that are consistent with the art style of the actual show, you know? I, not only just because I really dislike Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer fucking stop motion, but like... Fuck, I don't know. The, the inconsistency fucks with me. And that's entirely a personal hang-up. I know it is. But, eh. Um. Hmm. Oh, boy. Beast stars! Or beast stars! Whatever. A fucking... Alright. So... So, first things first. We have to accept that uh, Juno is goddamn adorable. And I want to pat her head. Um... <laughs> So, okay, so, there is very little negative in this show. 
Like, uh, like other than like the established thing of just like it's fucking CG. Like, but other than world building, what was the reason for having that op- that opening bit with the with the chicken run for four minutes and thirty six seconds? What is what is what what was the point of that? What was what was the point of that? Like I'm actually like just trying to figure out like is there going to be some some story thing that kicks off that's going to deal with the fact that, that with the chicken egg trade or something that I mean I guess like we got like a little bit of we got like a little bit of Legosi like Legosi really likes eggs for example you know so it's like oh yeah no he doesn't have to eat meat he just like he likes eggs a lot but. But then we also have this whole thing with fucking Logrom. And we learned a little bit like, oh yeah, no, these the chicken students sell their eggs to the store to make a little bit of extra money, and this chicken lady's really... really proud of it. But... we knew that already, or at least... I thought we did. Um, so... Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the what the what the artistic benefit of that is. Hmm. Yeah, I I don't know. It's it's really weird. I don't know. But other than that, like I really like this episode just because it like it, we get a kind of an establishment of like the all three parts of the love triangle kind of thing and i really like that like okay so it, it starts off with haru and it i really like how basically her perspective on this is she doesn't really feel things for like lewis or any of the other guys she's fucked right like like, okay, hang on, let me actually just, like, go go back to it so I can actually read the, what the subtitle is specifically, because it's, like, really good. Um, let's see. Oh, not again. I always get lost in this solemn, quiet, beautiful, and cold forest. After walking around everywhere, I've realized there's no warm, loving place for me here. Push aside branches as, as I might. There's no exit to be found. I'm alone in these woods. And... And the trees that she's knocking aside, they're very clearly, like, representative of Lewis's antlers. And, and, you know, and then just, even as she says she's alone, she's getting, she's getting the dick. And Lewis is right there. And, she, like, and, and, like, that sentiment is really kind of telling of, like, how she feels. Like, like she kind of puts on this face of just, like, yeah, no, Lewis, like, I, I want your love, all this, da 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 da, da. But she's, like... No, I'm alone. Like, there is nowhere warm here for me. This is just... No, this is nothing. And and yet, when Lugosi shows up... And then when Lugosi shows up, and, and she hears him through the door, she's like, Lugosi, what the fuck is he doing here? Oh, shit, oh, fuck, oh... Like, she's really embarrassed. And I don't know if that's because she has feelings for Lugosi, or because she doesn't want to get caught, like, you know full up of servine spunk like i don't know it's like it's a really cool um fuck it's, it's a really cool like dichotomy between you know like like she's kind of like very limp fish kind of thing it's just like with 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 uh lewis just kind of like i'm all alone this is nothing there's no warmth here there's nothing but then the second the ghost shows up, she's all flustered like a schoolgirl with her first crush. Like, I, I, that's cool. And, and a lot of that might just be embarrassment from, you know, getting caught, almost, but still, it's neat. And it's, and it could be interpreted the way I'm inter- choosing to interpret it. And then, you know, you got Lug- and Lugosi's just like, I just kind of wanted to see her, Chief. You know, I just kind of wanted to, like, a majority of this is from Lugosi's perspective. But the fact that we get the perspective from every, from the others... Like, you know, the fact that, like, Lewis, despite the fact that he has a fiancé and he's like, no, I have to make viable offspring. Like, he's still... He's still jealous. He's still upset that Lugosi has, like, apparently has feelings for her. That That's really neat. I like that. It's fun. 
And unlike most love triangles, this can't be solved with just talk, you retards. Instead, it's like, no, like, there is actual... Like, Haru has what I assume to be feelings for Lugosi, but she's also been with Lewis for, uh, three, like, all three of ye all three years at the school. Lugosi is friends with Lewis, and he loves Haru, or at least he's trying to figure out if he likes Haru. And Lewis, he respects Lugosi, but he loves Haru despite the fact that he knows that he's, he's got to marry someone else to continue his bloodline. Like, to the point where he even, like, even tries to get Lugosi, like, down easy. It's like, hey, look, there's another Grey Wolf girl in the club. Go pick her up. She likes you. Give her a chance, you know? Like, she's got the same thing you do, where, like, she gets picked on for being a wolf because she's terrifying. You get picked on because you're fucking terrifying. Like, you've got, you've got stuff there, Chief. Come on. Like, he's, he's, he's trying to let his friend down easy, but Lugosi is just kind of, I don't know, too autistic to realize that Juno really likes him. Like, like there's, like, this big tangled web of romantic bullshit going on, and... So far, it's going much better than most fucking examples I can think of. Like, usually a lot of this shit breaks down to the fact that if you would just sit down and fucking talk with each other, this shit would be fixed immediately. But, no, this is something that talking cannot solve. Like, there is going to be someone left out in the cold by the end of this, and it's going to suck for that person. The only thing we can hope for is that your boy doesn't wind up being that person stuck out in the fucking cold. Like, I don't know, man. I really, I really like it. This is great. And, and the conversations with the fucking Labrador boy whose name I forgot is really good. I, I, I like, I, I like him. I forget, I forgot his name already, but he's a good boy. Um, I am liking that they're actually using a little bit of, like, other art styles as well. Like, like the pictures of Lugosi, like... As a kid, and they're and they're anim they're not animated. They're drawn like an actual fucking anime. Those are pretty cute. I like those. Um, and the and the I don't even like. I'm gonna say hand drawn. Yeah, the hand drawn animation at the start with Haru going through the forest. I like that a lot. Like it, it kind of makes me wish that this entire show was hand drawn. It's very clear that people working on it, like they they have a lot of talent for this. And, like, maybe it is a, it is a cost thing. Like, maybe the Japanese are like, oh, man, fucking this fucking furry thing? Ah, fuck it. Throw it through the CG. Save the money on it. Fucking fur fags! <laughs> but, like, uh, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. This is good. I like this show a lot. It's fun. And it's, it's, like I said, it's, honestly, it's, it feels like Zootopia the high school film. Uh, you know, like, Zootopia, Zootopia High School, the anime. And it's got that same thing I like about Zootopia in that despite the fact that it is animals, and, like, very clearly the world is designed for animals, the people in the world, they are a lot more relatable than a lot of people in, well, fully human-led fucking shows, you know? Like... Like, there's no one here that is not someone that you could point to and be like, yeah, no, I know a guy like that, or I've heard of a guy like that, you know? I don't know. I, it, it's good. It's, I like it, you know? Like, if everyone is the right amount of awkward. There's no one here who's a Kamina. Like, as much as I like Kamina, there is nobody who is like Kamina. Kamina is there for you to, to wish you were Kamina. But there's no one like that here. Even Lewis, who would probably be the closest to someone to look up to here, he is... Just as big of a piece of shit as anyone else. In fact, more in some respects. You know, like, everyone's just trying their best. It's how it be. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I like this show a lot. Like, it, it, it explores its themes very well. The characters are, are well-defined and they're relatable. And, like, the, the story is just really good. Like, especially, like, I, I really like how just... We finally have all three of our boys in one place at the, at the very end here, and just... 
if it wasn't for fucking Lewis being unable to keep his dick hidden, you know, he had to show up and give Haru that head pat. If it wasn't for that, then Lugosi would have been just fine doing exactly as he planned, burying his feelings, and maybe winding up with Juno, maybe. Or maybe dying alone, one of the two. Like, but because Lewis couldn't keep his dick in check, he's made, him, he's made himself a romantic rival. Congratulations, idiot. Oh, boy. But yeah, the show's good. The show is good, and I think that's really all I have to say about it, because, oh boy, 35 minutes, yay. So, yeah. Anyway, everybody, so as always, I am Nozovix. Remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, share on social media, tell your friends! And if you want, you can always support me on Patreon, which is linked down there in the description, along with a link to my Discord server, and on the end card, we link to my other videos if you want to see those. If you do support me on Patreon, you get a special patrons-only Discord channel on my Discord server, where you can recommend things to be Let's Played, live-streamed, uh, Let's Watched, whatever! And also, we have our patrons only movie watch that movie bleh, patrons only movie night that we do every month at the end of the second week of any given month. So, like on Saturdays at six six p.m. Eastern, usually, um, we hang in our sync tube, we hang in our voice chat, and we watch some anime, watch a movie, maybe play some video games, kind of just do whatever, just kind of hang out. Yeah, it's fun. I like it. Um, yeah, and also it helps you eat food because oh boy, food is good. I forgot how good food was. Won't be having any of that <laughs> for a while. <laughs> oh, boy. Fucking Thanksgiving week. Hey, fuck Thanksgiving. Fucking, it ruins my schedule every year. Um, but yeah. Hey, everybody. So, yeah, as, as always, I'll see you in the next video. But most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today. And I will see you a ronda. Ronda.